show, Indie Sensations, the Holloways will be aiming Angels Eurovision big with a very, very special performance, everybody. Quiet, please. Quiet, quiet. Enough, 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 enough. And remember this, everybody. Indy, hello, boys. Hello. Hello. Oh, oh, boys. <laughs> Still got the scars to prove it, guys. Uh, I'm having nightmares. It's a nightmare. Let's see what damage they can do this time. It's Wolfman, Sean Ellis and Wyakin and Lukuta. <laughs> They're going to be rating the housemates' house. Uh, and Sophie, who else have we got? Tickle Monster. <laughs> yeah, he's a wolf in geek's clothing. John Tickle's here, everybody. Oh! But for all of that, it's time to see how the housemates have been getting on with the howl of the housemates. Oh, it's BBLB News 25. BBLB News 25, 24 hour news and then some. So, first up in yesterday's show, we revealed that Marcus B and David are all up for eviction. We also watched David Twig that B nominated him. Strangely, David wasn't bothered at all, guys. Not bothered at all. I was surprised at how he reacted. Kind of makes me feel that, yes, I did vote for the right person. The reaction that he's just come out with is the most bothered reaction I've ever seen from someone who is not bothered. I thought we were genuine friends. We've come a long way in the house. We are genuine friends. Not anymore, we're not. Because obviously, you've gone in there, you've nominated me. You have no interest in being my friend now because no. I nominated you. OK, we'll just leave it at that then. Fair enough. Well, I'm trying to explain to you. I don't want to listen to it anymore, B. It's not bothered. It's not bothered. Uh, now, it looks like B's fast running out of power. And when things got more heated at 9.07 p.m., there was nobody left to defend her. That's somebody else's opinion and right to I'm trying it. to justify why. And I, well, all I don't have to... Well, I've with Martin Sear, that's last week. You don't want nothing to do with them. Get you up the arses this week. Maybe next time you're in a flood of tears, I'll laugh in your face, and then you won't nominate me, will you? Frankenstein <laughs> and the skeleton were arguing. <laughs> Frankenstein and the skeleton were arguing. <laughs> why did you nominate me? <laughs> Comedy laugh Rodrigo's got, eh? Now, after all of that, it seems B thinks denial is a river in Egypt. Have a look at this point, this question. Do you think I'm going to go on Friday? I don't know, I don't know. Do you think you'll go, like? I haven't got a clue, babe. And finally, at 4.40 this afternoon, Marcus blamed Rowdy Roddy for eating his food rations. Did he take the blame? Of course he did. Yeah. I had many biscuits, I had many things don't in my cupboard. Don't change the subject, Roddy. I have many things in my cupboard. I, have I had biscuits, I had cookies, I had sweets, I had many things, I had beans, and I finished with six eggs and one I got one bread for everyone. Change the subject to talk about something so, different. Please, you don't, don't tell me what's right, what's wrong, when you don't know what's, what's right, what's wrong. Please. <laughs> That's it for BBLB News 25, everybody. BBLB News 25, 24 hour news and then some. So this week, B, David and Marcus face the Grim Reaper at the pearly eviction gates. But who do you want to make the ghost of Big Brother pass? Here are the numbers to call. <laughs> to evict B, call 090-16-16-17. To evict David, call 090-16-16-18. To evict Marcus, call 090-16-16-09. Calls cost 35p from a BT landline. Other networks may vary. Mobiles will cost considerably more. Details and terms at channel4.com forward slash Big Brother. Voting closes in Friday's eviction show. So you saw in the news this week's Big Brother has become the house of horrors. And no good horror movie is complete without a werewolf. Let's take an exclusive look at Lisa and Siavash's transformation. Housemate. For this week's shopping task, housemates will inhabit the Big Brother house of horrors. Yay. I'm going to be a werewolf then. I'll be a werewolf, would you? If both werewolves do not stand on the rock, move their out costume now like a wolf, werewolf wolves will occur one file for their challenge. Oh, oh. Come on! I'll get him off my arms. This one is sewn together. <laughs> oh. 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 Uh, who better 
to, to tell us how they're doing than our very own Wolfman, Sean Ellis. Hello, sir. Hi, mate. Hi. Sean. Seeing our two in-house werewolves, did that just did it, did it kind of bring terror and fear to your very core? No. 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 I Not scared. No. Right, okay. No, no, uh, talk me good. through the, the myth of the werewolf. Talk talk to me about it. We had a, a disease um, going around called lycanthropy, which yeah. obviously is, is this in your human capacity or your wolf capacity? Wolf capacity. Right, okay. <laughs> it's kind of um, it was a disease that was kind of diagnosed many years ago. And it had receding gums, bleeding, so we had the teeth showing like this. So, they, what, human beings Human had... beings had it, yeah, and we had bleeding of the gums. Obviously, then, living sort of quite feral in those times. Yeah. Maybe wearing an animal clothing of some kind, maybe even mimicking wolf behaviour. Right, so if you saw a kind of crazy person yeah. running around with, it, with an animal skin and they had funny old gums and all the rest of it, you might think, hold yeah. up a minute, this is half wolf, half man. This is kind of where the early perception of, of werewolves came from, or wolf-like people. Right. Set about really because you know wolves were very competition for the food that we ate. Sorry. sorry. Really? Okay. So yeah. what, we we were fighting the wolves for food. Yeah, pretty much. These guys were better at catching it than we were, um, more efficient, and we had to spread rumours like werewolves about to try and get them destroyed, so we didn't have the competition. Ah, right. So that's why we don't have wolves anymore. Yeah. Should we have a little look at Lisa and Siavash's howls, everybody? Yeah. yeah. What did you think of the house? When you're, when you're in the den, it is the den, right? <laughs> yeah, that's when it, did yeah. Did you do all that? When you, yeah, when we, you, we when do, you... but a bit more effective than that. I mean, I've had Lakota here putting on lipstick. I don't know what they actually said, but he was quite interested. Right, OK. <laughs> do you, can, you, can you read what they're saying? Can you understand yeah. what they're saying? That was, um, I mean, that, that high pitch is what we would kind of loosely base on a locating howl. We have three different types of howl. We've got a locating howl, which is quite high yeah. in pitch. I'll try and give you an idea. So this will be a locating howl. We've got... <laughs> So that's kind of How good where is that, everybody, everybody is. Right, okay. What, what else can you do? What other howls? We've then got what we call a rallying howl, which yeah. is to call wolves to the pack. It's a bit more mournful, really. So some, some, something like this. We've got. Come to daddy, that is, in, in wolf. Yeah? And what? then we've basically got stay away. Don't come anywhere near us. Quite low in tone, very, very deep in voice. So yeah. this one. Right, so well, let's back off in let's wolf. Back off. Don't come anywhere near. Well, so me. if I was yeah. another wolf right now, I wouldn't be coming. I'd just be. I'd be. Uh, look, one of them's left. One of them's just <laughs> left the building. That's brilliant. Do each of the pack have very distinctive uh, kind of howls? Yeah, they do. Every single pack member has an individual howl. Um, so we can gauge how many of your numbers are in the pack, male, female, old, injured, sick animals. There's a wealth of information. It's a bit like you and I talking to one another on a telephone. That's simply what the howl is. Oh, barking at the camera. Me... Right, now, there's a lot of tension in there. Uh, if you were the... If you were... Because it's, it's a kind of matriarchal society, right? So if, yeah. you were the, if you were the big mother wolf, basically, sure. how would you keep everybody in check? We have what we call a diffuser yeah. in the pack, and that's my role within the pack at the moment. I have to try and keep the tension low. So if we've got two wolves that are evenly matched like these guys, fighting with one another, it's my job to stick your head between them, draw the attention onto you, calm everybody down. Right, so if they're having a ruck, yeah. Sean gets his head in the way. Yeah, so pretty much we'd look like a like kind of a Charlie-type figure, really, to calm right. everything down, just maybe tell a joke, funny story, funny walk, just something to relieve the tension <laughs> within the group. Do you do a funny wolf walk? Or? In the wolf world, we more mimic kind of... Um, sort of sounds, movements, body posture. Do you that have kind a wolf thing. name, Sean? Do I have a wolf name? Yeah. My rank is uh, kind of diffuser. That's right, the okay. role that I hold. But you don't have another name. No, like you haven't got a name like Lakuta or. No. Right, no. no it's a shame. <laughs> uh, can you uh, can you tell me something? What, why do wolves howl at the moon? By the way, I've always wanted to know that. Wolves are crepuscular animals. That means they basically hunt at dusk and dawn, the hour before light and uh, you know the end of the day. So a full moon gives them a full night's hunting. Um, and that's basically why So they're we're... just hyped, basically. Yeah, they see the full is. moon and they're yeah. excited. That's, that's basically, yeah. And coupled with the fact that you're more, more likely to see them on a full moon. Sean, what a wonderful thing. Give them a big round of applause, everybody. And Yakin and Lakuta. Coming up, we have the first and possibly the last performance from the Holloways and Angel and John Tickle and Robbie Williams. Give us their exclusive musings on Big Brother. Well, I say Robbie's exclusive musings. I'll explain a bit more in a bit. We'll see you in three. He, you know, he came up to me, and he was asking for food, so he had his food. Moreover, the food was not hot. You 
var som goda i Uruguay i Stockholm. I've got some breaking news, everybody. Uh, there's been a mummy task in the house. David has had to choose which mummy is Marcus's mummy. Have a look at this. David, you now have one minute to identify Marcus's mummy. Two. And here she is. It's Marcus's mummy, Diane, everybody. <laughs> Did you know that your boy was going into the Big Brother house? No. Really? Not at all. What did he tell you then? Nothing. Really? Nothing. Is he always such a naughty boy? Does he yes. not leave his mum in form like that? Not at all. Does, does he live with you? Yes. Really? What and, and what he no, just... No, I live with him. OK, you live with him. <laughs> and what, and just you came back one day and he wasn't there? No, I heard in the bedroom a suitcase being zipped. And You've then got different back, bedrooms, back, right? Yeah. Right, back, right. Back, Banging down the stairs, yeah. and I s thought he's going. He's going on holiday. I said, going on holiday. He said I might be. So, uh, so where are you going? He said, don't know yet. So I said, well, wow, how mysterious. long will you be? He said, don't know long. A couple of weeks, maybe. Don't know yet. Bye. <laughs> and that was it. And then the next thing you got a phone call saying he's on Big Brother. No, I didn't get a phone call. I saw him on TV when I was on holiday in Bournemouth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Diane. What a lovely lady. Give her a big <laughs> So let's go over to, uh, to WebWatch at thesova.com to get interactive with Joe Coffey and our guest web editor, John Tickle, everybody. <laughs> How are we doing, guys? Very well, Very well. Uh, John, uh, you, uh, you've been looking after the website for us today. I have. Take over the website day, so I've been guest editing. You've been asking everybody to send in their best jokes, correct? Yeah, we've had some absolute howlers in today. Come on, we're ready for them. We're ready some for them, aren't we, guys? We, we <laughs> fancy a laugh. Tickle that tickle. tickle. I'll, give, that I'll tickle. give you the best one. Yeah. So, why did the baker have dirty hands? I don't know. Because he needed a poo. Aye. They're not my jokes. Not my <laughs> jokes. Got any better ones? <laughs> All right, so I saw these four guys carrying a coffin. Two yep. hours later, I saw them again. I reckon they'd lost the plot. Comedy they're next. Not, they're not my jokes. Back of the oh, comedy not, jokes. not the best. Like uh, anything that. better going on <laughs> on the internet, Joe? Loads of stuff. Do you like, do you like uh, mashups? I love a mashup. How much do you love a mashup? Oh, more than. More than Mashing you could up. ever imagine. <laughs> Andy yeah. from the streets of Surrey has mashed his own scenario up. Yeah. And it's uh, the Lisa Freddy beatboxing at the bus stop thing. Oh, one that? of my favourite moments it is of a this summer. Have cool a look at moment. this. That's about as good as it gets, Isn't as far as I'm concerned. And yeah. the bus still didn't come, yeah. even oh. though they were mashing it up. Yeah. It still no, didn't right. come. You're right, they didn't. Any other reconstructions going yeah. on? Loads of people have been sending in their scenarios, Big Brother. Uh, we've got a montage of uh, reconstructions happening. It's uh, Half Wit by Hannah and Ta Natasha from Lancashire. Charlie and Rodrigo uh, reconstruction where they wet the bed and they had the big, yeah, yeah. the big argument. And then the David uh, Trouser Snake. Uh, scenario oh. with uh, little Oliver. Let's have a little Take look at these then. Siavash said from a point of which he was helping you, and you have repaid him by this spectacle. By this, everyone's turning against him. And I didn't hear any of it, but I have no reason to doubt Siavash whatsoever. Look at my bed. How can I sleep on this? No, seriously, no, it's not a joke. It's not funny. It's not funny. No, John, you take a talk far. You take a talk so far. <laughs> Blogging this week, by the way. We had some big celebrities last week. We got the same. Robbie yeah. Williams has oh. been blogging. Oh, that doesn't wow. get bigger than that. Wow. Do you know what he says? He's a big fan of Seavash now. He says, Seavash, um, what a div at the start. 
But now, I likey, he may have actually given me my second single video idea. How so about cheers. that? See if that has inspired yeah. Robbie's next video. Uh, have any of the housemates inspired you to do anything? Upload your video responses, reconstructions and mashups on the website. You'll also be able to find the petition, which might just get Angel out to Norway for the Eurovision. How about that? Yeah. How, many, how many members, friends, petitionees do we have? Well, on the Facebook group, we've got nearly 300 now. OK. So, obviously, when someone joins the Facebook group, they download the petition. Oh, and, and then they, they get their own petition, right? Right, okay, so we, we've got everyone. tens of thousands you know, almost. It's in its Let's try and get it to Norway, hey guys. Let's make it happen. Should we do that. Let's make uh, it big happen. thank you to John and Joe, everybody. <laughs> right. Now my next guests are generating quite a buzz. They've got a new album out in October. Here's their new single. Bye. the country have you have you found time to keep up with big brother do you know who's nominated this week you do yes we're yeah here and there we've seen bits of bods we've been away a lot so right, okay so this week we've got we've got marcus david or uh, or b who do you think is going to go b really i think everybody thinks yeah. B's gonna go. i'm going to butt the trend and go with marcus just because of paul danger his mum is his mum's here i know Ooh. but she's a pretty cool lady yeah she, is. she she looks like a cool lady yeah but Paul Danan said it, so... Right, well, you've got to go with the Danan, ultimately. We've all got to go with the Danan. Who's your favourite housemate, guys? I've got to go with David, because he's from Leeds, like I am. <laughs> Not very popular. Well, and that's it, just because he's from Leeds? Yeah, pretty much. And my real name is actually David. I'm only called Alfie because I fell asleep at a party and everyone went, Alfie, Alfie, Alfie. And I went, I'm not Alfie. And went, yes, you are. And that was that. So, that's, so, so you're also Leeds, David so... from Leeds? Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Amazing synergy there. Yeah. Uh, now, they, they, were, they were quite rock and roll, particularly uh, around the week when we had our, our anniversary. We had old housemates going in. The next thing you know, they got rebellious. They were climbing up the walls, chucking stuff in the, in the swimming pool. Who do you think's more rock and roll? You guys or, or them Us. in there? Really? Yes. Yes. Why, have you ever chucked a bath in a tiny swimming pool? Yeah. <laughs> no. Exactly. I've, uh, I've rode a BMX off of a rooftop into a swimming pool once. A BMX off a roof into a swimming pool? Yeah. 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 Come on. That's more rock and roll. I like that. That's more rock and roll. <laughs> You're right about that. Uh, what about Sia Vash and, and Sophie this week? They're doing this whole kind of anti-nomination thing. Do, do you like that stance? Um, I just think it's sneaky tactics, personally. Really? Yeah. Well, you don't yeah. think they're just trying to be bigger than they don't want to get into it, they like everybody in their house, they're trying to do the right thing? No, because yeah, they, they, they know this is a competition in the end, don't it's they? It's a game plan. Really? It's a game plan. <laughs> the old G word out again. What do, you, uh, what do you think of this week's task, by the way, guys? Do we like uh, it? Oh, the yeah, you liked it a bit earlier, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I saw Marcus sorting out all the offal. The entrails. Yes. Oh, that was nice. really tasty. Right, you just like to see Marcus knocking around with it. I have to say, he makes a very co convincing Quasimodo. <laughs> <laughs> he really does. Uh, now, every fan, gentlemen, needs a bit of inspiration, right? OK? Yeah, correct. David, in the, uh, in the house, is a very inspirational man. I want you to have a look right. at this and just see if maybe you want to incorporate some of these lines into some future songs, all right? Have a look at this. You can make a cow drug to the water, but you can't make it drink. I, have Lisa, to... I totally respect your opinions because you're writing what you say. You hit the nail on the hammer most times. But I think you've upset me and I've probably blown it out of all precautions. Yesterday, B couldn't stand to Vash. But today she's all over him like a wet rash. It's hard. I, I don't think it's hard. Is it just selfish, is it not? They're just here to rifle it all up. Do you know what bees are like? Things like a bee. <laughs> Out <laughs> <laughs> of his mind. He's amazing. Yeah, you can have any of those. He's already told us. You can have any of those. You put them in as many songs as you want. Fantastic. Game on. Definitely. Yeah, it's yeah. the rhyming yeah. ones as well. Okay, I know. Yeah, very... Sea and wet rash. That was genius. <laughs> that was very clever. That you're going to spend years looking for that kind of inspiration. Exactly, yeah. and not got there. And now on Sunday, Angel told us her dream is to represent Britain in the next Eurovision Song Contest. We want to give her the best possible chance, guys. Uh, so to do this, we've got her a backing band, the Holloways, <laughs> and we've made a Eurovision-style introduction video. Have a little look at this. Angel Mackenzie is a former Russian national, now representing the UK in sunny Boreham Wood in London. She's signing autographs already. Could she be a little overconfident? Some say she's barking, but the public love her. 
Let's hope her future comes up smelling of roses and that she doesn't blow her big chance. It's Angel Mackenzie singing for Great Britain. Oh, 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 oh. Here she is, representing the United Kingdom. It's Angel. Every morning you wake up. Tell me what do you feel Is it the morning for fun? Is it the morning for love? Or just a lonely coffee cup? When you get who you want Tell me what do you think? Has it happened too fast? How long will it last? Is it a real love? Oh, love is a game with no particular rules Perhaps a winner today And tomorrow you lose Keep playing your part Believe in yourself But don't let your heart Get into your mess When you beat people you like Do you say what's on your there mind? There you go, Andrew Lloyd Webber, Graham Do Norton, Terry Wogan, Katie Boyle, Maggie Thatcher I hope you're all watching Big thank you to all my guests. I'll be back tomorrow at E4 when I'll be joined by domestic goddess Anthea Turner. Make sure you watch the main show tonight, 9 o'clock on Channel 4. Take care.